Life is too short to be wasted. It's a wonderful opportunity. Asking the most important questions of our life. We should really make an effort to distinguish between matter and spirit. If we don't, we worship matter and we neglect spirit. You are an eternal soul confined in a material body which in a long time is incompatible. Therefore, the moment of death when all the atoms have come to the final stage of being able to be used for the soul's presence, the soul has to depart from it and matter decays. In the meantime, you can prepare for that moment to not be a disaster by realizing that you never were and you never will be matter. You never were a body configured of material elements such as blood, skin, fingernails, pus, bones and all this type of ingredients. They are just the parts of your vehicle. Just like the tires, the seats, the roof and the engine is part of the, the car which may transport you. But you are never in confusion thinking, oh, I am the motor. No, you're the driver. You turn on the motor and then off you go. Same way you put on the fuel, the food in the morning get the engine working and off you go for your different duties in life. And as your car body grows older, you have to face reality that some of the parts won't last lo too long. Then you become very anxious about it. You think, oh, maybe you can do something about it. But in the end you can't. You have to leave this world. Forget about spare parts. Just think about it. Why did you come into this world? Who put you into this world? Who is behind the laws which govern this material world? What purpose does he have? And what is your relationship with this supreme power, father, mother, whatever you may call him? Have faith in him in as much as you have faith in your life. In as much as you have faith in your food, in as much as you have faith in the air you breathe, in as much you have faith in your feelings. So grow. Grow in your faith, grow in your feelings, grow in your love. Love the Lord who is behind all. Find out why He put you here, what He wants you to learn, where He wants you to turn and where he wants you to reach. This is the prime objective of the human form of life. Thank you very much for listening.